Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It is generally believed that Muslim women should not talk gently and affectionately with strangers. This opinion has been formed on the basis of a, surah, of a verse in Surah Al-Hazab. Now, if we study this verse in perspective, in its proper context, we will come to realize that this verse has an absolutely different message to convey. And in order to understand that message, it is essential to reflect on the contents of the surah. It was revealed in a specific background with a specific purpose. In Medina in those times, the hypocrites and miscreants had launched a vicious campaign to scandalize the private lives of the wives of the Prophet. They wanted to bring their character into disrepute so that the Muslims should take care and they should, should come to realize that the, the leaders of their own religious religiosity do not possess high character. So therefore, in these circumstances, first of all, it was communicated by, by the Almighty to the wives of the Prophet that if they wanted to remain with the Prophet, then of course they had to realize this responsibility. They were given the option to either leave the Prophet and pursue the luxuries and comforts of, of a common man's life, or once again, with full determination, remain as the wives of the Prophet. And in this regard, they should also realize that whatever this step they would take, it would affect gravely this whole situation. Now, in those times, these miscreants had launched a whole campaign of bringing the character of uh, the wives of the Prophet into disrepute, as I said earlier. And in this regard, they had taken various measures. Now, the Almighty, in order to circumvent and in order to uh, uh, stop, put an end to these activities, suggested certain measures to the wives of the Prophet. As I said, he gave them the option to remain as the wives of the, of, of the Prophet, and at the same time, they, they would, should realize that in such cases, they would be twice rewarded and twice punished for anything that they would do. So they must realize the important position they have. The other thing was that there is no doubt about their inner purification. They were very pure ladies. However, in order to cleanse them in the eyes of the onlookers, in, in the order to cleanse them uh, from in the eyes of the miscreants, certain directives were given to them so that no opportunity could even arise for other people to cast aspersions on their character. Amongst these measures was, one of, one of these measures was, they were asked that they should not speak affectionately and gently with such people, so that if ha they have some evil in their hearts, they should absolutely come to realize that they would not be able to accomplish their ill aims. So it was in this perspective that the whole verse was revealed, and it was told that these wives of the Prophet, they must not speak complacently and gently with such people, and in, in fact, they should uh, speak with them in very clear and stern, in a stern manner. And uh, by not realizing this context and background, people have erroneously attributed this, this whole directive, and have, they have expanded its ambit, and they relate it to every Muslim woman. So, if we study these verses in their proper context, we come to realize that it was a specific directive given by the Almighty to the wives of the Prophet so that they could circumvent and so that they could stop any evil activity that which was causing uh, the miscreants to bring their character into disrepute. I would now like to read out those verses to you which would make the situation absolutely clear that they would reveal in a very specific context. So, uh, the Quran says in Surah Ahzab, Ya Nisa and Nabi, Lastunna ka ahadim bin Nisa. In it the Kaituna, Falatak Dana bil Kaul, Fagat ma alazi fi kalvehi maras, Bakulna kaulum marufa. Wives of the Prophet, you are not, not like other women. So, if you fear God, do not be too gentle in your speech. Lest the lecherous hearted should lust after you. Talk with such people in plain and simple words. So, it is absolutely evident from the context and from the background that this was a specific directive given to the wives of the Prophet and it has no relation or no bearing to other Muslim women. Akulu kawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'ir al-Muslimina wal-Muslimat.